everyone. My name is Jonathan Sullivan. Welcome into my latest series here on YouTube, Power Automate Basics. In this series, I'm going to go through a couple different videos and show you all of the basics inside of Microsoft Power Automate to go through the process and just how to build out your very first flow, the different parts of a flow that are available to us, and just simply put how you can get started with using Power Automate today. And for this first video, I'm going to walk through all of the basic templates available to you to start building your very first flow. I'll take you to powerautomate.com, show you where you can find the templates that are available to us, and then the different times of templates that are available out there for us to just get started with right now and what we can do with them. So let's head on over to powerautomate.com or flow.microsoft.com and get started. All right, so here at powerautomate.com or again, flow.microsoft.com, I have my just general landing page here within my environment. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna navigate away from home and over here on our left-hand side in our navigation area to templates. Now, when we select templates, what we're gonna see here are just a different view of all of the pre-built flows that um, allow us to just automatically connect right to. Essentially, these templates are pre-made packages by Microsoft for us as users to leverage in order to build the flow much faster. Now, some of the things we can do with templates, we can modify them or edit them to fit whatever specific need we may have for the flow that we're working with. We can use them as a learning tool. We can actually break down the process within the templates and all the different connectors within them so we can understand how they're being used, the order in which they're using, the dynamic content that they're leveraging to really help us out in the future. Also, we can upload our templates to the Power Automate community for sharing purposes as well. So there's a couple different great things available to us right away here inside of our templates. So first things, what we see on the page here, on this web page here, is just all of the different uh, flow categories available to us within the templates. You'll notice the very first landing area, we have all of the different flows all listed out just here in front of us. Now, one of the things that about our templates here, you can sort the templates by popularity, by name, by publish time, it's really up to you how you want to sort them. What we'll also see is all the different types of categories available to us here within our templates. So of course we have our all flows, we're just simply getting everything. We can then see some of the featured flows available to us if we wanted to scroll through that Microsoft has kind of put on this featured page for us. We also have some of them that have been shared with you. So any, any specific templates that have been shared with you, you can have here. Now I don't have any that match anything that was shared with me specifically, but if I did, that's where they would go. We also have some remote work templates that are available, especially for those of us that have been working from home for the last two, three, maybe 10 years now. Um, we can have all those there. We have a lot of different approval templates here that we can go through, through the approval process, either from Microsoft Teams or from an email, any type of approval process we might wanna have. We also have some of our button flows here. Now button flows, these are the instant flows that we can create using these templates. So like the big popular one here is send yourself a reminder in 10 minutes. You can have that, just go ahead and push that button in in 10 minutes time. You'll get a pop-up and a notification to have um, that reminder kick off for you. We can also go in here and see all the different types of templates with Visio or data collection. Uh, email tends to be a very popular template area here, saving items to Outlook, uh, from Outlook to your OneDrive or downloading any attachments into your OneDrive. You can do uh, that from there. We have events and calendar as well. We have different things that you can connect into from your calendar there. Your mobile device, you can have different types of flows that are kicked off for notifications for your mobile device or any emails or anything that you want us to use within your, your mobile phone and some other just general notifications here as well. So there's really a nice place here within our template homepage to see everything that is available to us here. Now, if I select the ellipses here on the far right, you'll notice I have a few more um, that we can play around with productivity, some other events here that we can play with um, if we wanted to. 
Now, some of the other things that we have available to us is when we wanna search these templates, we can actually search by a specific service as well. Not just the type of template, but say you wanted to um, see everything that works with, uh, let's see, Office 365, and then you can search that. Okay, I'll go to my all flows here with Office 365, and you'll see every single flow that is available that connects into Office 365. Right, so you have all of them right there. You can also search by, let's say another one like GitHub. I can search for that by that, and you can see all of the different GitHub template flows that are available for us. Now, what you'll notice when we go through the different templates here and the icons that are available as you search through is we have, let me go back to my main area here as I refresh my page. Okay, inside some of these flows themselves, you have some different icons that are available to us that tell us exactly what is going on within the flow. Now, one of the things here, okay, as you look through the, the icons here is you have the very first one at the top, and I'll start on the far right here to make it a little bit simple. These icons right here that I'm highlighting in red, okay, these images are used to describe the connectors. Okay, that are being used within the processes of the flow themselves. So each one of those images there, each one of those tiles there tells us the different connectors that are used inside of the flow. What we also have, and I'll change up my colors here, okay, is right here you can see who's created the flow, okay, who's created the template itself. So sometimes you'll notice that, or a lot of times you'll notice that they're created directly by Microsoft. Others you'll have from the Power Automate community as well. You'll be able to recognize all of those within that area. What we also have is on the bottom left of each one of these tiles, and you notice that some of them have automated or instant, some will be a scheduled. What this means is it tells you the type of flow itself. Okay, so again, we have instant, we have automated, we have scheduled, those are our main three types of flow. That you'll be able to see right away once you wanna look at these different templates. And then finally, this last area here that I'm highlighting in green, this tells us how many times the flow is used. So it gives you a good idea of the popularity of these flows and how often that flow is being used by other people within the Power Automate community. Essentially, it's a really good place for us to be able to understand exactly you know, what we're getting ourselves into when we go and look uh, at each of these different templates. All right, so let's go ahead and choose one of these templates and actually build out a flow. Why not get right into it and build our very first flow? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search over here for Office 365 notification, and I'm gonna scroll down here and choose to use the template for save a new email attachment to OneDrive and get a push notification. So I'm gonna select that one, and when I select that, here we see within the template itself all of the different connectors that we will be going ahead and using. So right here at the bottom, you can see a list of those connectors in the order we'll be using them. It's nice and simple for us in this case. We're just gonna open up um, our email. We're gonna look at OneDrive. We're gonna have some notifications in here, pretty simple. What we'll also notice is we need to make sure that we are currently logged in for all of these different connectors to work. You'll notice if you are currently logged in, you will see that you have this green check mark right here, letting you know you are logged in. If you were not logged in, you would get a prompt in this case to go ahead and log into your credentials here within Microsoft in order for all these to get working. So I'm gonna select continue. And now what we'll get is our flow editor. Inside of the flow editor here, our flow designer page, we can see all of the different steps available or the steps that are gonna be taken within this specific flow itself. Okay, so you can see down here at the bottom, we have uh, our very last option here. The very last thing that's gonna occur is our push notification. Okay, we're gonna get that push notification once everything else occurs. So to take a look at everything we're gonna be having within our template here, I'm just gonna minimize these real quick. 
Okay, and so we'll see the different aspects of this specific flow. The first one here, okay, we'll take a look at our on new email. This is our trigger. Okay, what our trigger is, is essentially is how the flow will be kicked off. The second is our first action that is gonna be occurring. So action number one. And within this action number one, this creating a file scope, what essentially does is it creates a file. Right? It references the attachment from the email, then it'll create a file in OneDrive and a folder path of forward slash flow. Okay, what it'll do is pull the name of the file from the attachment, then pull the file content from the attachment and go ahead and create that file within OneDrive itself. The second action here, so this is action number two, what action number two will do, this apply to each, is whenever this trigger actually occurs, whenever it gets kicked off and we get an email and the attachment is stored, it's gonna send a push notification to a phone. Okay, so um, in this case, we're getting applied to each because we can have multiple attachments. So if there's more than one attachment, we're gonna get more than one save here. Okay, so we can have all of those set up for us, all right? So because everything's done inside of a template, we actually don't need to do any type of editing here but if we wanted to, we can go ahead and choose where everything's gonna be sent. In this case, on new email from which folder, we're gonna choose our inbox within our Office 365 here. Okay, when everything, anything comes into there. We have our file scope here, looking for attachments. Okay, the file name will be the attachments name, the content will be within the actual attachment of, the, of itself. The path here is gonna be our flow path, and then it's inside of our applied to each, as I mentioned before, it's gonna send me that notification for each one of these attachments. So why we have multiples here, this looping that occurs because we could potentially have multiple attachments. So let's go ahead, we're gonna save this, and then we're gonna test it. And we're gonna test it by sending in a new email. I'm gonna send it to myself, and then I'm gonna make sure there's an attachment with it, and I'll show you what occurs inside of our uh, OneDrive itself. So let's go ahead and select test, and we're gonna do a manual test. In this case, we're gonna actually manually send an email into our inbox to trigger that off. You can even say, see it right here where it says exactly how to do that manual test. I'm gonna select test, and I have an email ready to go that I'm gonna show here. Okay, here's the email, I'm gonna send it to myself. I'm just gonna call it my template test. I have an attachment here, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and send it. And then now, once I hit send, you can see that because I've chosen to test it, we're now going to see if this actual flow is gonna work. So I've gone and tested that, and it's going through the process here. I have the email, it's come through. Okay, there is the email that I just received in my inbox. So let's see what is happening. As it continues to work through, let's see if it's going to pull up into our OneDrive. Oh, it looks like the flow ran successfully. Let's make sure we can verify that by looking at the one, our OneDrive itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up OneDrive. And here we have it. There it is. I now have my new folder here. It's called Flow. Okay, we could see it just a few seconds ago. It's taken, actually it's taken in this case, my signature has a, a, an, e, an attachment there. So there's our two um, images for my signature, my email signature, and also the email attachment that I have there as well. So it's actually taken everything from within that email itself and added that into this new folder called Flow. So just a few seconds ago, you could see that was completely added there all by itself because of the Flow template that we were using. All right, so that was our very first look at flow templates here at PowerAutomate.com. Now, one of the great things, again, about flow templates is they allow us to learn about how we can start using Power Automate flows right away and not only just being able to implement them in whatever we want right now, is we can actually take a look at how they're used. We can learn from them themselves, break them down, edit them, add in our own additional features if we want, and really be able to start going through the process of getting used to how to make Power Automate flows and start to make them a little bit more advanced as we make more and more over time. Well, thanks for joining me in our very first video of our new series, Power Automate Basics. 
please look forward for our next one where we start to look at all of the other connectors and triggers and all the other options within our flows here at powerautomate.com. All right, guys, have a good one and see you next time.